Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Mark, I'm the Senior Osteopath here at ML Therapies and today we're just going to go through an SIFT test or Standing Iliosacral Flexion Test. It's a side indicatory test for pelvic dysfunction. It's not a specific diagnostic test, it merely tells you which side the primary side of dysfunction is in relation to the anominates um, or the sacroiliac joint itself. A later video we're going to be discussing a sacroiliac over iliosacral which is a separate test which is seated over the standing iliosacral flexion test. So our first test is our standing iliosacral flexion test. So what we do here is we ask the patient to stand with their feet shoulder width apart without shoes. We place our hands across the iliac crest. At a 45 degree angle we drop our thumbs down. We circumduct our thumbs to find the PSIS or the posterior superior iliac spine of the anominates. Once we're confident we have those under our thumbs we can have them on slightly above or slightly below. What we ask the patient to do is keeping their legs straight, they look down to the floor and they bend forwards keeping their legs straight until we find motion on the PSIS. And back up again. Now in this case if we notice on our right hand side which has been previously diagnosed we have a right side that moves first and furthest. So if Rochelle can just bend forward one more time for me there. We can see that on the right side we have a thumb that superiorates and moves first and back. So this next test is our seated flexion test. We ask the patient to grab a seat, uh, place the feet flat on the floor, place the knees out to a slight V, it's the same landmarks, hands across the iliac crest, 45 degree drop, we find the PSIS and similarly we ask the patient to look down, drop their hands down between their legs forwards and flex forwards. Now in this case we have a bilateral equal flexion, so in this case we have a negative seated flexion test. So had this been positive, let's say if we had a thumb rise on the right side again, positive as we go forwards if the patient bends forwards, then this would be a sacroiliac positive on the right side. There are lots of other tests that we would need to introduce like testing the sacrum itself for patterns of dysfunction which we will discuss in a separate video, separate flexion tests. But this again, if it was positive, would note a sacroiliac dysfunction which is more diagnostic than our seated standing flexion test. So our, again, our seated flexion test overrules our standing flexion test. I know it can be a little bit confusing, but once you get used to it, it's actually not that hard at all. So if you like the video guys, hit like and subscribe below. And if you'd like to see any of the content, don't be afraid to give us a shout, hit us a private message or send us an email. Thanks a million guys, thanks for watching.